Welcome back to another episode from Classic Replay. This time we are playing Space Mambo on the MSX2. I'm not even sure about where I heard about this game. It was probably in a forum or maybe in Retro Gamer. And just hearing about it, reading about it, didn't prepare me. It's one of those things, you've got 101 things to do. Uh, I'll play that at a later date and you put it off and then you put it off more. So this is me, the first time playing this game. Not even this superlative intro set me up for what was about to happen, for what was about to come. Playing Space Mambo has been a proper heads gone moment for me. I'm still in a little bit of a shock now and I can't remember the last time I couldn't put a shoot em up down. It's that same feeling you got when you were a kid and you bought the game and you kind of like raced all the way home to play it. And I just don't get those feelings anymore playing video games or computer games. But this has rekindled it. And I'm not an MSX virgin either. My cousin had a Toshiba MSX, a 64K version, uh, back in the day. But we struggled to get games for it. So in the end, we moved on. He moved on to another system. And I'm also au fait with shoot 'em ups. I've played all the greats R Type, Gradius, Xenon, X Out, P47, if you like, UN Squadron, and some fantastic classics on the Commodore 64. And no matter whatever stable you're from, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, Amstrad, Amiga, you have to give this a go. You have to give this a try. All prejudices aside, you've got to give this game a go. Even if you're not a shoot 'em up fan, you've still got to give this a go. And if anything, this has spurred me on more to cover the MSX and its games in more detail. And even if you have played this, you lucky devils, I'm well jelly. And for those that do know shed loads about the MSX, please let me know. Please tell me what games that I must play or the ones that are obscure that uh, people tend to ignore. I could not afford to live a life without quality games like this in them. So then, the moment awaits. This for me is that moment in Star Wars where they see the Death Star for the first time and they're like blown away. Somebody told me, or I read somewhere, that the MSX can't scroll. What the fuck? This is some of the best scrolling I've ever seen uh, on an 8-bit. In fact, I feel like I'm playing something on uh, the Sega Mega Drive or the Super Nintendo. Until today, I'd never laid eyes on this. And the only reason I've done this video is to share it so that retro gaming shoot 'em up nuts everywhere can enjoy it as well. In fact, if I'd have seen this running in the arcade in the early 90s, I'd have fed it a coin or two. Flipping heck! Ugh. My own fault, I'm not concentrating. It's really difficult to talk and concentrate on a shoot 'em up at the same time. I'm using keyboard as well. Uh, really, I should be using a controller. Makes life so much easier. I imagine people watching this, um, the comparisons that you'll be pulling are probably similar to Gradius. Oh no. <laughs> but also, I think it's a bit like playing Turrican 2 where you go on the uh, horizontal shoot 'em up stages. But all that aside, it kind of has carved its own unique appeal. And there's lots of little power-ups that uh, increase the rate of fire, uh, direction of fire, and uh, a shield as well. You've got to love these big, massive sprites. I mean, look at the size of them, for goodness sake. If you um, shoot uh, an enemy or a turret, and it displays the letter S, get that because that speeds up your ship. I haven't worked out what the O uh, gives you yet, but uh, I think it's one of two options. Oh, I'm not concentrating. Oh. I did once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away. I was really good at shoot 'em ups. <laughs> not so, not so much anymore, I'm afraid. And these people that tell you to your face, look you in the eye, and tell you, ah, oh, don't worry, it's like riding a bike. That's complete BS. You get worse as you get older. Unless you're playing a strategy game uh, or something like chess, I think you take more time. You deliberate over um, the next move. If you pick up a W, that I think gives you a wide shot. 
and the M gives you um, missiles. Well, let's find out. Yeah. Oh, so we know what the O does now. It gives you some sort of gun turret, external gun turret. Please, God, let me at least finish the first goddamn level. I've noticed there's coloured pickups as well. Um, and they must be attributed to that power bar at the top. So when you pick those up, I guess depending on the colour, that increases the power. Or is the power dropping uh, the further we go? I'm not sure. Ah, there's one now. Let me just get it. Did you see that? I collected that red uh, power icon and I've got an extra bar of energy. So you must have to build that energy bar up to the top. I think uh, probably about 20 levels of energy that you can build it up to, which is interesting. So that's reminiscent to R-Type Leo. Initial thoughts are this game is quite difficult. I'm struggling. And I mean, if I played R-Type now, I'd probably already be on the third stage. But naturally, I mean, there's a learning curve with lots of different games. Uh, R-Type would have been one of them for me. So here we go. This is the first time I've seen this boss. No idea what I've got to do. Looks like it's just hit, avoid. The, just don't get caught underneath the arm. Oops, that was close. The turret got me out of the shit there. Whee! Oh god, that is such a relief. The anxiety levels, the stress that I'm, I was under. But this game, I mean, look at it. It's a proper eye shag. And listen to it as well. It's a proper ear shag. One of the most difficult shoot 'em up games I think I've ever played is probably I.O. on the Commodore 64. That one took me about two weeks of intensive play to finally complete it. So I think that one's my benchmark for judging a shoot 'em up on difficulty. And I'd say this, although not as difficult as that, it's not far off. Loving the graphics and uh, the colour palette used in this stage. And there's apparently eight stages. Uh, so you're going to really need the continue system. Uh, if you want to see it through to the end. Just embarrassing myself now. God. I'm still going to persevere with this. I'm going to continue. Because each time I play it, yes, it's frustrating. But not overly. And I feel like I'm getting better each time I do play it. And I'm having fun. I'm really enjoying this. The biggest problem I've got is I can talk for England. So what better outlet? Now, there is a YouTube video where chap on there completed this game with three lives I can't imagine uh, ever doing that ever being able to do that because of the amount of time you'd have to invest uh, just before I forget one of the things that has niggled me a little bit well it's just nitpicking if anything I really wish this game had an auto fire my bloody fingers are killing me a question I'd like to ask uh, somebody out there who's a bit of a hardware expert on the MSX. How come there's no sprite flicker with everything that's going on? I mean, I've played a few shoot 'em ups now on the uh, MSX, uh, MSX2 included, and there's a bit of uh, sprite flicker. No, I'm not giving up. I will stay to the end. I will fight to the death. I will go out on my shield like Deontay Wilder. <laughs> In fact, that was a fantastic fight, a proper slugfest. In the early rounds, I thought it was anybody's. Get in there, boy! The Gypsy King. Anyway, back to the game in question. Um, look at that silky smooth scroll. But not just that. Look at the detail, the attention to detail in the, in the sprites and the backgrounds. I'd love to get um, the original of this. I mean, I've been looking at the box art and the posters uh, and all the gumph that comes with it and uh, it's a collector's dream. Space Mambo uh, is a good time. They really need to release this on the uh, PS4, PS5 or uh, Xbox or 
anything Nintendo Switch. And not just that, it would open up the MSX and its back catalog uh, to newbies and young gamers alike. I mean, me personally, I've got lots of retro gaming systems and I hardly know anything about the MSX. And not that I care, but does anybody in the US even know what an MSX is? I mean, this is such a good game that I'm amazed Konami haven't re-released this in some shape uh, or form on another system uh, in, the, in the UK, in Europe. I actually own an MSX2 uh, Turbo, but I haven't got any games for it. The only thing it came with are some startup boot-up discs. Uh, and that's it really. So I'm on the hunt for MSX games and this definitely without question um, is first on my list. Now I'm not going to make any promises but I've been looking at the Metal Gear Solid series on the MSX and I thought to myself oh I might do that I might have a look at it. So that could be a future MSX video. So don't forget to subscribe uh, and ring that bell so you get the notifications for future releases. Come on now, Mark. I feel like I'm getting better. I feel like I'm getting to grips with the game. Oh, God's sake. Talk too soon. Come on, we can do this. I don't know what we can do, but I at least want to get further. I want to see more of the game, more of the graphics. And um, if I don't fit that much more into this video, I'm definitely going to go away and, uh, you know, put some more effort in. Okay, I think I've got it now. I think, I think I, I'm starting to get the pattern. So here we go. Whew. Let's concentrate. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> Having a nightmare, a nightmare of a time. Come on now, come on. Oh, for goodness me. I didn't realize that little thing jumped. A little Ed 209. Oh, this must be painful to watch. Come on now, that's it. Take out those turrets. Oh. Gonna regret that. Build that energy up. Oh, that's what happens when you go hunting for a pickup. Come on. Don't lose the faith. Such a difficult game. And it's so fast. It's not a bullet hell shooter, but it might as well be. Come on. Oh. What am I doing wrong? Oh my goodness me. Come on now. That's better, that's better. Better. <sighs> How anybody can complete this game on three lives. <sighs> now, I thought this way about uh, lots of different shoot 'em ups in the past. Um, R Type 2 being one of them, that was really difficult on the Game Boy. Uh, but eventually I did complete it. But it does take huge chunks of your life away. Okay, come on, come on. This is it. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Practice makes perfect. So playing this game has just whetted my appetite for playing even more games on the, on the uh, MSX. And earlier, before I did this video, uh, I started looking at some of the, the games that are out there. Oh, God's sake. 
yeah, I started looking at some of the games that are out there that are available and the, the homebrew stuff as well. So I might even do uh, an MSX, the best homebrew video. Um, so play through all the games, all the new games uh, since the decline of its commercial life and uh, work out which ones are the... Oh, I'm through. Ah, woo, hoo, hoo. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. Vertical scroll? Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's made that's made my day. <laughs> the little thing the little things in life. Come on, don't blow it now. <laughs> oh you stupid. So what's that gonna put me right back at the beginning? Let's have a look. No, that's good. That is another massive uh, plus point for this game. The fact that it doesn't throw you back at the beginning. Like so many games in the 80s did. Do anybody remember army moves? Or, or navy moves? Or was it navy seals? I can never remember. Come on. Just wanna get a le at least a little bit further. What a game. What an absolute immense game. And, and a beautiful game as well to boot. And look at it. And it does horizontal and vertical scroll really, really well. And the ship, and it's my fault when, the, when a, a bullet or whatever hits me, uh, but the ship is so nimble that I reckon, you know, once you've got this etched mapped out in the back of your mind you know like looking at the back of your hand uh, and then you often go back and revisit it's just it's a work of art it's it's one of those things that I think once you experience it um, you'll you'll never stop playing it you'll always pick it back up which is why I must own it I wonder what the prices are like on eBay I bet you talk I bet you're looking at hundreds of pounds for a game like this Unless it was really popular. I'm going to have to call this quits now. Um, I'm literally shaking. I'm, I'm suffering, starting to suffer from anxiety. I'm really getting stressed. I, I need to walk away from this game. Uh, take a break and have a think about it. Because yes, I've progressed and I feel like I'm progressing. But um, right, I need to give this one a score. So let me have a quick think. Um... Definitely a 8.5 out of 10. And please don't forget, if you really like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, as in subscribe, uh, like it, and ring that bell for notifications. Until next time, bye!